Hey guys, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter and we're a day after Christmas up here in Seattle and Magnolia. We just actually got a snowstorm. The snowstorm wasn't here a few days ago, but we're here with Marissa and her new fiance, Levi. Why don't you share your story with us a little bit? Uh, well, it is now the December 26th, right? Yep. And on the 24th, so Christmas Eve, he proposed and it was lovely. Oh, and congratulations. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> and we went to go celebrate Never It, came back around two in the morning because we went to a late night mass because we're Catholic. And yeah. uh, I, am, I got out of my car and the ring I felt just slid off my finger. Oh. slid off my finger oh. and I felt it slide off and I heard it land somewhere squishy so we <laughs> thought it was somewhere in here but we can't find it. So and when that cool. happened this was all grass, no this snow. All grass. This all and grass. then when it snowed this morning I was like oh, oh. boy. <laughs> Getting a little anxious, a little bit of a high nerves Just, and stress. Yeah. You're like oh hope we get this ring back. Um, when it was in the grass, you looked quite quite a bit, but you just couldn't see it, basically. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I was oh. worried about trampling it in, so yeah. I tried to avoid it a little bit. Good idea. We don't really want to step on it and damage it if we can yep. keep from it. So with the, with the metal detector, guys, I can use that to go ahead of me before I start stomping in there, and uh, we should hopefully be able to get this uh, pretty easily straightforward. That being said, it's always a challenge, but we'll do the best that we can. Come along for the search. This is a search you're not going to want to miss. All right, guys, we're still going here. We're just going to go real slow. This is right next to a parking area. So there's been a few little uh, false targets that we've come across here. Good coins and all sorts of different things that come up. You can hear there's some different things in here. Our car door was right there. So we're it's in this area. We're just going to find it, get over the top of it. Oh, look at that, guys. 12. That's a good number. Let's see what we got over here. That's actually a good, decent number. Hey Levi, I think you need to hand this over to your new fiance. Oh, oh Marissa! You actually found Woo! it. <laughs> oh my God. Awesome! Oh, that's oh so exciting. God. How does that make you guys feel? Oh my feel? god, I can't believe you actually Good. found it! Does that make you feel a little oh, bit uh, better now that you got that I've back on trigger? I've lost so much sleep over this, I can't, I'm so excited! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's look at that thing. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Really nice. Uh, you got some sapphires in there it looks like and, yeah. a, and a diamond. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what that means to you guys and why the stones are like that. Well, we're amateur rock hounds awesome. from, from Montana and we found some Montana sapphires but these are Yogo Sapphires from Montana. Yogo oh my Bills. goodness. Yeah. Very special. You guys didn't find those, but you, you put that in there special. So, yeah. And you guys have actually gone out and you told me earlier that you guys have actually found some stones and yeah. uh, found some polished them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, that's exciting. Well, I'm excited for you guys. Oh, that's really neat. I'm glad we got it back so for you. Much. We knew, hey guys, uh, as you've seen this before, we knew that this uh, was going to be a pretty straightforward one. It fell right off of her hand and the metal detector, of course, would find it in here. And this was before the stone even out. After. So anyway, Seattle Ring Hunter here at 206-618-8194. If you've lost anything in the Seattle area, please feel free to reach out to me and see if I can help you out. we got the ringfinders.com and that's where they found me. With over 500 recovery specialists across the country, find someone in your local area. With that being said, we're going to let these guys get inside. It's like 28 degrees out here. <laughs> it's a little cold. cold. They're going to head out and get something to eat. I think I'm going to do the same and get going, get back home. Until the next time, guys, stay safe, keep your valuables safe, and we'll see you on the next hunt. Cheers. Bye-bye. If you've lost your ring or a special item of value, please get in touch with me at the seattleringhunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.